It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Kansas City Chiefs. And it's all up next. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. And today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I can give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives a defensive break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. And they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he is advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Going to run again here with Pollard. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Ball on the 39. Here's the second and eight. Here's Levis. And his throw here is incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Levis sets up the throw here. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. Pollard will take it up the gun, and he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. Here's second and three. Levis to throw it. That's complete to Traylon Burks. Seven yards there and a first down.
Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Levis looking to throw. A short throw taken in by Conquo. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs. It gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Third and two, here's Levis. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And the Titans are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Well, only their first drive, Charles, but they talked to us about needing to convert on third down, in particular not letting third and short opportunities slip through their fingers. Well, they were successful right there. It also tells you that they're successful on first and second down as well to get to third and manageable. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Tony Pollard, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Full connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. Polk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They quickly out wide. This is Watson. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you've got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's Mahomes to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. Seven yards there and a first down.
Mahomes now to throw. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And the Titans are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 37. Now Levis. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. Now it's second and 10. On the draw, it's Pollard. A little juke. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Well, they're making a real first-quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old-school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second down and six now. A give to Pollard, running left. And he's got some space here. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 77 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, You've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Pollard is in. Touchdown, Tennessee. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, Obviously, your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Now, Folk for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. That time, a six-play drive, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. On the return, it's Washington. And he returns this to the 22. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? 
or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Ball on the 27. Here's second and five. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He finds Watson. It's caught. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Second and six. From midfield, here's Mahomes. That's caught left side by the tight end, Gray. So he stopped for no gain. And now third down and six to go. A defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. Mahomes firing complete, and he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target, able to pick up another first down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Second and 10. Pacheco gets it up the gut. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him. And they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all, to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. On first down, Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs have cut it back within a score. 
So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. An extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll make our score 14-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three, because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Haskins with a run to begin the drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and three. Back to throw, it's Levis. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. In motion is Westbrook Aquino. And now a fake there on the jet sweep as he'll give to Pollard. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. That was good tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. First and 10, here's Levis. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. And he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Levis. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Oh, man, that is just a flat miss. He's in the pocket. The protection holds up. He sees his man come free, but maybe he just gets a little excited about the prospect of a long touchdown. Levis on third down. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown on their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. 
Okay if I show my age a little bit, partner? Because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. The ball gets bumped up. It's now second and four after the penalty. Working from the gun, Mahomes. A quick throw there is incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And it's third and four. Now Mahomes. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. On fourth down, Matt Arises sent on to punt. On the return, Jackson. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And it'll be Titan football. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. And they'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. George Karloftis, the man to bring him down. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. On second down, it's Pollard. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. The Titans on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and seven. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Levis sets up to throw here. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Levis back to throw. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Chris Jones, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be brought 
down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 24-yard line. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Here's a second and eight. Off the play fake, Levis. Over the middle, he has a conqueror. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. They'll run with Pollard. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. 106 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. Second and goal from the one. Pollard again. But he will not get to the goal line. In fact, he won't get to the line of scrimmage as they push him back to the two. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Not only was that a terrific play, but that loss of yardage they created this close to their own goal line, that gives them a little breathing room now as they move them back. And they're breathing fire a little bit right now, aren't they? A lot of confidence being shown by them at this point of the game. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. On for the extra point is Folk. It's good, and it is now 21-7. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins. Polk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And they work this well up field across the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Mahomes going to throw. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, 
creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Throwing now is Mahomes. Man open left side is Brown. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 41-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. Busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now Mahomes on the bootleg, and that's incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. That is caught, and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 and a first down. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. They tried the fade there to the back corner, and Charles, you know very well that can be hard to stay in bounds on that route. So difficult because you have to start the route to give yourself enough space to actually fade away from the defender and stay in bounds, just as you described. If the defender's able to take away that little bit of cushion, it's often hard to come down inbounds with the ball and complete the play. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And again, it's Mahomes. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so, and that way it allows the receiver. And he is in! Touchdown, Kansas City! Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs are back within a score. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target. And they're back within a touchdown at After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. 
Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. Levis, open man downfield is Ridley. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pickup there, 26 yards. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. On first down, Levis. Again to Calvin Ridley, and he's got it once more. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So you got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Now the pass and it's into the arms of Hopkins. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. Levis to throw once more. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Most like that in just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Now Levis. And this is going to be incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. This offense was on the move. Now two straight in completions have them looking at third and ten. Levis to throw it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Folk's kick is good. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. After the main field goal back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. On the return, it's Washington. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. This is caught. It's Brown. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 
23 yards on the play. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. Now they have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? A first and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. The Chiefs now are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. And they'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. Now it's Mahomes again. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. Touchdown! Isaiah Pacheco on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Chiefs get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. <laughs> That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. To the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Titans offense going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Back to throw, it's Levis. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And this is going to be a Titans first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down to Orlando and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports 
Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He's over 100 yards rushing for the game already and found the end zone twice as well. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Montrell Washington on the return from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's got a man complete through the middle of the field. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Rasheed Rice. 76 yards. And the Chiefs come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Out comes Calvin Ridley and the offense for their next drive. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. First and ten, here's Levis. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. 
But Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I but, think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> but I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense. And now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. From the 41, here's a second and four. Well, they go play action. Here's Levis. And that one into the hands of Hopkins downfield. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 32-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 32-yard line. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. 118 yards rushing for him now to this point. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. Here's Levis. A short throw taken in by Conquero. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Seven yards there and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now left side on the swing pass, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that will bring up second down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. And he'll take this one down near the 15. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. Levis sets up the throw here. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Nick Bolton, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. And when you go five wide like they just did there, you can't really max protect, can you? No, you cannot. What you're hoping is that by going five wide, you're forcing the defense into coverage. And if you do that, you get a chance to find some people downfield. But if they audible themselves and go into a blitz, then it's got to happen right now. Or it lights quickly. out. <laughs> or exactly right. Turn them out. That play's over. So give them three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it. But the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? After the main field goal back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. Washington now brings this out. And now off to the races, down the right side. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Chiefs. It's been a back and forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's going. Now you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams.
Butker now to add the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way in the end zone for six points. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. Offense back out there and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see it back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley. And now it's second down. Levis out of the shotgun now. Over the middle, he has a cock roll. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down, Titans gain of 12. Pollard going to try the right side. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Second and seven. Levis looking to throw. Throw here, taken in by Wiley, the tight end. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll bring us to a third and four. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run right after the catch. Third and four. And a loss of three to bring up four. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get... Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Mahomes throw complete there to Rice. And able to 
get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Mahomes now on first down. This will be caught by Brown. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That one goes for 24 yards. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Mahomes going to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and 10. And again, it's Mahomes. The ball finds its way back to Brown. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Mahomes now on first down. Kansas City touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Extra point by Bunker is on target, and the lead is up to 15 now. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Levis now on first and ten. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Now a give here to Pollard. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all. It leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Levis. Complain. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. 
Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. Here comes Mr. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, leading out this offense. Last drive, the touchdown, four catches. Really good. He was. They were not good on the other side trying to stop him. What do they need to do? Well, this is where the entire staff has to get involved because we always focus on the defensive coordinator. But he needs help from other people with their eyes and their expertise, and he needs to listen to them. And sometimes you just can't afford to wait on a drive and say, okay, let's get to the sidelines and start over. You need to find a way in the middle of that drive to start taking away what's hurting you. Yeah, in-series adjustments, and how do you do that? Well, what you do is you listen to what everyone else is telling you, what they're seeing, the patterns that are developing, and maybe you just start running extra bodies to take away that particular player. Here's Mahomes to throw. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. They called the corner blitz and Roger McCreary, he got in there and earned the sack. Well, how about that, the defense's first sack. It doesn't come from one of the usual suspects up front. It comes from the secondary. Yeah, I think they caught the quarterback off guard a little bit because he wasn't able to account for the possibility of that blitz and change the blocking assignment. He comes through and puts him on the ground. Gonna need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. And he's gonna be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now, standing right on his own five-yard line. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. 47-yard punt, a return of four. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And the Titans getting set to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Levis back to throw. And he's taken down, a cheap set. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Levis to throw it. Open man downfield is Ridley. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A gain there of 21 yards. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. Now Pollard. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. And Nick Bolton there on the tackle. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. Now Levis. That'll be complete to Okonkwo. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 37. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. 
They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. A second down throw from Levis. And his throw is incomplete. This offense so far on third down, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and ten. Now Levis. And it's knocked away and incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. And now Nick Folk, his career long, 56 yards. And Folk's kick is good. And they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in. And had just enough to get it done. After the main field goal, back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if he picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right. If it's college football, you want to be, second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Play action, now it's Mahomes. And that one into the hands of Brown downfield. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will make this a 19-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Titans now just about ready to take over. 
Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. First and 10, it's Levis. A short throw taken in by Aconquo. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Back to throw, it's Levis. Got his man, Aconquo. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Seven catches for him now, and this last one, a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches... You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Meanwhile, Levis is that's taken in by Aconquo. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped it to one. A big pickup of 38. To get back in this ball game, big plays are going to be necessary. And here's one right on cue. Coming up with three scores here in the fourth is not going to be an easy task. But that's good work there to bite off a chunk of yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now here's Pollard. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good work there, holding them out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? On second and goal, here's the option. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The folks' kick is good, and that'll get the deficit back to 16. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. After the made field goal back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. Washington now brings this out. 
And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up second down. Yeah. Mahomes now to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. His big day receiving just keeps getting bigger. He's over 200 yards now on the afternoon. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. 41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. Six yards to pick up and that's a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards and it's second and two. Now Mahomes, throw left side complete, that's Watson. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 18. A nice pick up there of 11 yards and it'll move the sticks. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front, and it's not just the offensive line. It's everyone. You're seeing the guys on the perimeter blocking downfield and making sure that they're secure. So, yeah, you're exactly right. The air is out of the balloon, and right now they're almost lifeless. Only a yard on the completion, it's second and goal. Mahomes gets it out quickly and it's complete out wide. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball and they keep making the connection. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. 
They've got it third and goal here as they try to finish off their victory. Pacheco is in. Touchdown, Chiefs. And that right there is a definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line, and here they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. Butker on for the PAT. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Levis's throw hauled in by Westbrook Akine here. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it'll be second down. Levis sets up to throw here. The Cockrell holds it in left side. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Levis to throw on first and ten here. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Levis to throw once more. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Levis trying to force it to Hopkins and it's intercepted picked up by Justin Reed and they are going to set up shop at the 40 yard line third and long that time he was trying to make something happen but a little too risky well the field tilted on him and what I mean by that is what you said third and long got to push it down field to try to pick up the first down defensive backs live for this situation and they took advantage of the young man right there and Kansas City's offense now to use him at this point. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Pacheco. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. 
Pacheco gets it again on second down. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.